Hi children, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will have a look on how to multiply decimals by 10, 100 or 1000 for grade 5 children. So let's get started. Generally, these type of questions children will get in fill in the blank section or match the following section. Okay, multiplying the decimal with 10, 100 or 1000 means moving the decimal to the right side based on the zeros in the multiplier. Today I am, I am going to give a simple shortcut to the children so that they can easily remember and sort out the problem. Let us see what is that. Here I am giving M R. M means multiplication, R means right side. Means in multiplication uh, we are moving the decimal to the right side. Okay, when we are going to multiply decimal with 10, 100 or 1000, we are moving the decimal to the right side. Okay, I'm, that is the shortcut. M means multiplication, R means right side. Let us see with the examples. Here we have a set of examples. In the first set of examples, we have the decimal number 1.521 and I, we are multiplying with 10. In, in 10, how many zeros are there? Only one zero. So, I am moving this decimal by one place to the right. Okay. Here to here, I am moving the decimal. So, the answer is 15.21. Okay. Let us go to the second one. 1.521 into 100. Okay. In 100, how many digits are there? Means how many zeros are there? Two zeros. So, I am moving the decimal by two places to the right side. So, answer will be 152.1. Okay. Let us go to the third example. 1.521. And we are multiplying with 1000. In 1000, how many zeros are there? Three zeros. So, I am moving the decimal by three places to the right side. To here I am moving the decimal. The answer will be 51521 means 1521.0 or 1521. Okay, let us go to the second set of examples. Here we have the decimal 1.8 and we are multiplying with 10. In 10, how many zeros are there? Only one zero. So we are moving the decimal by one place to the right side. So answer will be 18.0 or 18. Okay, let us go to the another decimal. 0 0.851 into 100. In 100 how many zeros are there? Two zeros are there. So I am moving the decimal point by two places to the right side. So answer will be 85.1. Okay, let us go to the last example. 0 0.1256 into 1000. In 1000 how many zeros are there? 3 zeros. So I am moving the decimal by 3 places to right side. So answer will be 125.6. Okay. Like this we have to multiply decimals with 10, 100 and thousands. I hope you understand this video. If you like my video please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you